Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Greetings, my family. Greetings, champions, uh, chain champions, intercessors of the Free Zimbabwe. We are here once again live. Uh, we are on Chatufa Television Production. We want to welcome you to the show. We are receiving quite a lot of information that is coming right from the courts. And very, very shocking. Zimbabwean judge fears to deliver judgment in Nevo Mutangwa's case. Ah, this really in this country is just so shocking we are just looking at a country that has failed we call this a failed state why for all reasons should any judge be afraid to deliver a message to i mean to deliver a judgment in this case it is just indicative that uh, this is not really a, a real court issue it is just a cat and mouse that is happening in zanu pf this is a bickering that is happening in zanu pf these are uh, factional wars that we are seeing happening in Zanpf, and at the end of the day, they are roping in other arms of government, inconveniencing other offices from functioning. Because when politics is involved in everything, even civil servants and also people that are in offices of authority who are supposed to execute their duties, they are failing because of political reasons. So it's an indication that. Uh, some somebody is interfering with the courts somebody is interfering with the judges somebody is interfering with the judicial system of zimbabwe as we've always been saying that uh, zimbabwe's courts are just captured uh, we are we just want to look at the uh, report that we have here of uh, what really is transpiring in the navy mchangwa case right um Zim Life here in, uh, reports that uh, Justice Esther Modemba recuses herself from delivering judgment in Neville Mutangwa's bail application. Judge cites personal reasons. Meta referred back to Judge President for allocation of another judge. Mutangwa arrested May 8 for trading Forex. So just imagine what personal reasons could ever uh, be, uh, I mean, indicative uh, of uh, uh, leading to this issue why a judge would want to recuse herself. There's no personal reason here. The only thing is that this judge is just afraid of victimization because looking at the matter, probably according to the law, uh, it, the court could be discovering that uh, this guy, Neville Mutangwa, has no case to answer. You still remember even last time, the same lawyers were saying the state is failing to prove uh, its case uh, against Neville Mutangwa. They don't have enough uh, proof. The case does not hold water. But it is just a political uh, persecution that is happening, political battles that are happening right inside San PF. So the judge saw it fit to just recuse herself because uh, of fear of victimization. Imagine if she would just dismiss the case or give application, uh, bail uh, allocation to uh, Neville Mchangwa. And yet probably Mnangagwa still wants to fight against Chris Mchangwa using that tactic. What will happen? The, the judge may find herself in hot soup. It means our judges are being victimized. It means our judges are working out of uh, victimization and fear. They can't be free to really execute their professional uh, job because they know that there is a lot of interference of politicians, which means probably the, uh, referring back to the judge president is looking for someone else who can come and, and deliver a political judgment, not a constitutional judgment. So this is what really is happening. Very sad development for our country, what these people are doing. Nangagwa has just turned our country into a banana republic, the courts into some kangaroo courts. We just want to listen to what the lawyers had to say. Hello, good morning. How are you? Just an update on what happened today. Uh, the matter was referred to the JP's office. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, I said the matter was referred back to the JP for judge for allocation of another judge. So there it is. Uh, you can see that even the lawyers themselves they don't want to talk much. They don't want to uh, you know give much information. But uh, this is what has transpired. So in, 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 another judge is to be allocated. The one that was supposed to. Uh, adjudicate over this issue is uh, developed cold feet because it's a political issue. 
It has nothing to do with the courts. It has nothing to do with the law. It is just Mnangagwa uh, persecuting the people that he needs to persecute and people that are fighting against because of political reasons. So we can't continue to develop in a country like this one, a country where the courts are twisted, you know, used for uh, personal gains. And uh, anyone who has got a muscle, or a political muscle, will be able to victimize any other person, whether they are guilty or not guilty, which means now that the court is refused to give the judgment, what will happen to Neville? It means Neville will have to go back again to prison, uh, awaiting the allocation of yet another judge. Neville will be rotting in prison while judges are throwing the case on each other, all of them afraid of Munangagwa, afraid of the repercussions that would come with anyone who can brave it out and give a judgment. So this is a very sad thing that is happening in the country. So just an update that we are giving you, we will continue to give you updates as the day continues to go. Otherwise, remain blessed. And always remember that freedom for the Zimbabwean people is coming. ZANU-PF is going to fall. These are the signs that we are seeing of the fall of ZANU-PF. Continue to subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you so much for joining me.